This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm Amanda Starantino, and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. A Kokomo woman is taking legal action after she says she was sexually assaulted by corrections officers at the Howard County Jail. In February, Shana Turner was an inmate at the Howard County Jail, and she says she was sexually assaulted on two occasions by two different corrections officers. Shana and her attorney have filed a tort claim against the Howard County Sheriff's Office and jail, putting them on notice of their intent to sue for negligence. I just don't feel like um, it's right what they did. And I'm sure this happens at plenty of jails and a lot of people don't say anything, probably because they look at it as, you know, oh, well, I'm the inmate and they're the correctional officer. They're not going to believe me. Shana reported the allegations to the sheriff's office shortly after. In early March, the sheriff announced six employees were terminated at the jail following an internal investigation into allegations of improper activity with inmates that violated department policies. Two incidents were referred to the prosecutor's office, but no charges were filed. Shana's attorney says at least one of the officers who touched Shana was among the six fired. Sheriff Jerry Asher had no comment about Shana's claims. And the greatest spectacle in racing is not only delayed, it's also downsized. Indy 500 fans will be limited to about 50% capacity when the race runs on August 23rd. Indianapolis Motor Speedway President Doug Bull says the additional health and safety measures will be considered. IMS will unveil those measures in the coming weeks. In late March, the Indianapolis 500 was postponed to August because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Kevin. June has been a dry month, so having a forecast like this is a bit unusual with a daily chance for rain 60% or greater at least through Tuesday of next week. Doesn't mean all day rain. It does mean rain every day somewhere in the viewing area. And you can see our humidity will be at the top of the scale. Very humid temperatures, mid 80s. Any rain that develops Saturday, Sunday, Monday will have heavy downpours as a result of that supercharged humidity. Don't get much relief at night. Overnight lows around 70, highs consistently middle to upper 80s. Thanks, Kevin. And for more weather and stories you need to know, download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.